Hi everybody, it's Cassandra again, and I uh, I think I look a little different than I did last time we spoke. Um, pink hair and with purple highlights. So if it doesn't come across very well in the video, yeah, it's pink, I promise. Um, and for that, I really want to thank my, my uh, stylist, Bobby, who did a wonderful job of this. And I, I was kind of apprehensive about it at first because, uh, you know, it's kind of bold, but I really, really like it. And I've actually gotten quite a few compliments on it, so I'm, I'm good with it, and I'm really glad I went with it. Um, moving right along, I realize it's been, wow, it's been probably a couple of months since I did a video, and so I thought I'd give a little update. Um, as it stands, I am 26 days away from my next surgery. Um, my next surgery is my top surgery, and I am so incredibly excited about it. It's actually, I'm having top surgery done, and I'm also having a liposuction for body contouring, which is a new concept to me. I didn't really know that was an option, but I'm doing both of them simultaneously. And so I'm going to be in a lot of pain, but hopefully it'll be worth it and everything will be great. But I, uh, I'm really looking forward to that and I just can't wait for it to get here. Uh, my doctor, Dr. Chernoff, seems very, very nice. I've met with him a couple of times and I have another pre-op appointment with him coming up here soon. And I'm really, really stoked about doing this because he is highly recommended by a lot of his peers. He has a lot of years of service and he's very, very good. So I'm, I'm really not worried an awful lot about it. The only thing I'm really concerned about is the recovery period. But other than that, I'm just really, really, really excited. Um, as far as the, uh, the body contouring thing is concerned, that was kind of a spur of the moment decision. It was just something they offered. And I thought, you know, that sounds like something I might like and tell me more about it. And so essentially it's just, they're gonna do lipo, but they're gonna do it in a way that kind of shapes me a little more so you know I have a better silhouette or whatever and so I'm yeah I'm gonna do that because I have this problem with food I I really like food and so yeah I, I don't see me not doing that anymore and so I'm not real sure that the whole liposuction thing is a really good idea because I'm probably gonna undo it in like a month but I'm gonna try so I'm, I'm really gonna try I'm gonna try to actually stick to a diet and do exercise and all that fun stuff and um, okay the other part and I'm mentioning this because I really have to hold myself to this I really really do uh, these I have to stop with these and I know it's not the most ladylike thing in the world to smoke anyway and it's not the greatest thing for my voice, and it's bad for my lungs, it's bad for my breath, it's bad for the air, it's bad for the environment, it's bad for this, that, and the other. I mean, it's it's bad for my hair, for crying out loud. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really trying to stop. I really am. And uh, Dr. Chernoff would like me to be a non-smoker three weeks prior to my surgery. And as I said, I'm 26 days away, which means I have five days to quit smoking. I'm trying. I am. And I don't know that I'll be successful, but I'm really, really going to try this time. Um, so, you know, wish me luck. Anyway, not an awful lot else to report other than, you know, look at my wonderful, glorious hair. Uh, but thank you all for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being my friend. And have a wonderful day. I love you all. Bye.